The scene in Kismayu earlier on Thursday. At least three soldiers waiting to get their salaries at one of the military camps here were killed by the insurgents. Ten others were seriously injured. A grilling reminder of the resounding presence of the Al-Qaeda-linked militants group. But further north in the capital Mogadishu, a sense of calm. But with it comes the fear of a resurgence after the capture of the town of Bukta and two others earlier in the month by Al-Shabaab. The militant group now says that it plans to topple President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, claims rubbished by the president who sees the captured towns as of no strategic advantage to the insurgents. Yes, you're right. They take some of the villages back, but that does not mean that uh, they are taking a lot or in a liberated area, but just trying to show that they are still uh, active and operating. But strategically, these places are not very, very strategic locations and important. According to the president, his government is throwing all available resources towards defeating the militants. The federal government of Somalia is a very uh, poor uh, government. It has uh, budget limitations. It has its own other limitations. And there are so many demands on the federal government. Of Somalia. But even then, whatever limited resources that we have, we, we share it with the f uh, government of Puntland uh, for those... Uh, inputs that are necessary for the fight against al-Shabaab in Galgala mountain, mountainous areas. The militant group in its efforts to show its presence has recently shifted its tactics to gun attacks on officials at offices, hotels or restaurants in the capital Mogadishu and elsewhere around the country. Leslie Murungu, CCTV.